The shoulder is an elegant piece of machinery which can move and rotate in more directions than any other joint in the body. With such freedom of movement, however, comes less stability and more risk for injury. The upper arm bone, or humerus, and the shoulder blade, or scapula, make a ball and socket type joint. The ball is held into the socket by a complex of rotator cuff muscles, tendons, ligaments, and a rim of cartilage. This whole shoulder joint muscle system is held onto the chest and body by the collarbone, or the clavicle, and more muscles. Despite marvelous engineering and design, humans will overstretch and overuse their shoulders, and injuries will happen. Mr. A.B. had fallen off a tractor and dislocated his right shoulder when he was in his 30s. He's been active as a farmer for more than 50 years, but over the last four to five months, he's noticed a gradual worsening pain and difficulty shoveling grain. He told his wife he just can't take it any longer, and she made the appointment. The patient came to my office, like many farmers, a bit reluctant to explain his problem. A number of medical problems can masquerade as shoulder pain, and some of them are dangerous. A careful history taking and exam was needed. The pain was not related to exertion and relieved by rest, like that from heart trouble. It did not radiate below the elbow and didn't have associated neck pain, like that from neck pain nerve trouble. It was not made better by eating, like that from peptic ulcer problems. It was not made worse by a big and fatty meal, like that from gallbladder stones. Finally, it was not related to breathing, and there was no fever, like that from pneumonia. Mr. A.B.'s pain was clearly made worse with movement of the shoulder and nothing else. When his shirt was off, I noted both shoulders were symmetrical. With thumbs down and arms outstretched, it hurt as he raised his right arm. And when I bent that arm at the elbow and rotated it downward, he winced and protested. This was the picture of inflamed, swollen, and tender structures rubbing while trying to pass under a tight arch of bone and ligament. Mr. A.B. went to physical therapy, hired someone else to shovel, rested his shoulder, and over time, the injury healed and the pain went away. We take for granted the elegant engineering and design of the human shoulder.